but it's also right to recognize that this pandemic is far from over. And that's why I'm afraid it is essential to keep up the system of test, trace and isolate. And I know how frustrating it is for all those who have been affected or pinged. And I want to explain, therefore, that people identified as contacts of cases are at least five times more likely to be infected than others. And even if they've been vaccinated, there is a significant risk that they can still pass the disease on. And so as we go forward, I'm afraid that the continuing sacrifice of this large minority, those of us who are being asked to isolate, remains important to allow the rest of society to get back to something like normality. And I'm afraid that at this stage, it's simply a consequence of living with COVID and of opening up when cases are high in the way that we are. As you know, we'll be moving on August the 16th to a system of testing rather than isolation for those who are double vaccinated, by which time, of course, we hope that the wall of immunity in our country will be even higher. And in the meantime, I want to assure you that we will protect crucial services, including the staffing of our hospitals and our, our care homes, the supplies of food, water, electricity and medicines, the running of our trains, the uh, protection of our borders, the defence of our realm, by making sure that a small number, a very small number of named, fully vaccinated, critical workers uh, are able to leave their isolation solely for the work that I have described. But for the vast majority of us, myself included, we do need to stick with the system for now. And of course, the only reason that we're able to open up in this way at all is that we've vaccinated such a large proportion of the population and at such speed.